here. If we talk, have your towel ready, have the coconut out, have the feeding pads out. Have the towel ready for the sink, the toothpick, the toothbrush, the shampoo, and the Q-tips all set out. The cat reader told me about the coconut oil. It's a natural antiseptic and also for in between baths if it gets a little dirty. And I use it to, I, his nose gets dirty and you put on a little bit to loosen up the dirt and he'll clean it off later. This doesn't have to be refrigerated. And see how his collar gets dirty? That can get soaked in the bath with him. Probably won't come clean, but at the end I'll use the freezing pan. I also use the coconut to loosen up the dirt on his butt if he's got it. So you put the stopper in the sink, and the towel in the bottom of the sink. Make sure, like a baby, the, the water is not too warm. And he doesn't like the water being sprayed directly on him. He'll get really scared and try to jump out. So you put a little shampoo in there to soak his paws and his nails. And you can brush his teeth. out his eye. See, he's got that bloody mucus again. You just kind of, it happens about once a week. Just slide that out. And then you can clean his ears. Whatever you can see needs to come out. It doesn't have to be perfect. But this is where you can go just the length of the Q-tip and go in that side because that's where a lot of the dirt is hiding. Don't go any deeper than that. I'll finish doing that later because you get the idea. But usually I take a cup. You have to keep your left arm over here because he'll try to get out of the sink if you give him the opportunity. I'm doing this a little faster than I probably normally would. This has to be rubbed in for a few minutes to really loosen the dirt. You don't get it on his face or down his ears. But be sure and get under him and rub until the dirt's loosened. And on his legs. And loosen up the dirt on his butt. And normally I'd be rubbing a plug within this, but I'm going to go ahead and rinse him off. that he'll loosen up. He'll clean that off. I put that on daily. And then this is the soothing pad for his butt to keep any staff from starting. And this is all you have to do. Whenever he's got any brown there, and he doesn't always have it, but whenever he's got it, run the brown off. Doesn't have to be perfect. He's looking good today. And then that keeps the staff under control. 